Yeah. 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 Oh, that ass. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Fender Fox Sashi. Welcome to a new video. Um, this is a new series I want to do is podcasting. I have a mic and everything. It's going to be sick. But, um, today, uh, for this podcast, well, for the first podcast, I know this is going to be in the way one these days. <clears throat> so I'll ask, how did I become a furry type of thing? Um, not that really hard to explain. I think a lot of people go through what I go went through when I became one. I did feel, you know happy i didn't feel fit in i didn't have much friends i was depressed for a while um so i'm gonna start way back in uh, my freshman year of high school all right uh was i before i guess eighth grade i'm gonna start eighth grade so creepy pastas you don't really know them too much they are um they are these you know stories of these killing things blah 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 like jeff the killer slender man well there's a one I really like, my favorite, Smile Dog. That's gonna start there. Smile Dog's not a furry. Well, I've seen a lot of furry art of Smile Dog. And at first, I was like, this is cute. I like this. And I guess after that, I didn't think of it too much. I just had a big fan of Smile Dog for a while. And then freshman year, I was with this uh, female. Yeah, I'm not gay. Holy shit. I was with this female. Uh, sh We were together for, I say, a good amount of time. I know it's high school, so it's like, you get over it, blah, 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 I did. But it hit hard because I knew her for a while. I knew her ever since, like, our parents used to hang out when you're, we were younger and stuff. So we were together um, for a while. We did a lot of things. We did a couple dances, did homecoming. We did all that. I was in football, so we didn't get to watch the game together. I played in the game. I was, I did a lot of fun stuff. Till uh, one day um she, she did cheat on me twice i should have kind of broke up with her then and then but for some reason me i was like this will be different this time every time she cheated on me and i said something because she was acting weird she was annoying me she was acting weird i said something she didn't like that no not at all so she broke up with me and i was bad i did say a couple things i shouldn't say like she's a hoe blah 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 that really got me depressed because i really like this girl i kept trying she wouldn't even want to be my friend first off i went through a stage of being depressed a lot of people hated me because she spread fake rumors about me saying oh no i'm a dick i i was mean to her i i never did anything i just got annoyed that she was cheating on me i felt so suspicious i didn't come on mean i don't think but she yeah she, so i was down freshman year for a while i had no friends i, I had a couple friends who were really close to me but it, there was just something that was stopping me from being happy so i started going back towards smile dog i'm like i like this and then someone i remember people in school were making fun of a thing called furries i didn't know what they were i kind of ignored all that i was a uh, depressed i was just being a you know high schooler I didn't know what it was, so I searched it. I saw a lot of animal art, cute animal art, and I was like, hey, this is cute. And I started hearing rumors that furries, you know, do animals, blah, blah, blah. So I, I kind of turned away from that, but I didn't. I started drawing my first ever character, Diamond Wolf, which um, didn't last long because I'm not, it does not a good name to me. I went to Hushy Puppy. He was a dog. He has the same design, a little different than hushy this ain't my full persona it's just what i could do for now i don't know how use substance pain so this is the best i could do here's my persona if it wants to help me out here okay so going back sorry off topic off topic i made a couple of drawings and stuff and then i summer hit i had a lot of time to myself couldn't really hang out with friends because they all lived out of town or you know busy I have a couple friends I hung out with for a week and then a week by myself. And I looked more into this fandom and I got into it. I, I started liking it. I started making some f online friends. I got a job. I felt better. It, it's just started feeling good. But I didn't really consider myself a furry. But where I come from, I live in a state called Montana. Not much furries around here. So it's strange seeing a furry, I guess. We, we ignored that. I didn't tell anyone. I was looking towards a furry fandom for a while because i didn't want to get made fun of blah 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 i was patriotic i'm still very patriotic i ignored it for a while and then sophomore year hit the female i had a crush on moved and it was it was nice it gave me like a while off thinking didn't have to think about her 
and I got more in the furry fandom. Yeah, I think this is when I kind of came out to my friends that I think I was a furry. It was nice. I think that was one of the best years I had. I wasn't depressed. I didn't think about dating. I, I did football for my last year in track. I didn't really want to do sports anymore because it was all competition. wasn't fun anymore. Th this was a good year. Till the last couple months, um, the gir the female moved back. She started spreading rumors about me, kind of getting me low down. So I did the Paychog thing. I said, fuck off. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I cuss. I need to beep that out. Beep that out. This was going on again. I ignored it this time. I didn't let it fight me. I didn't say anything. I ignored it. Like, you know, an adult kid who's going to junior year. My job, I started. I think this is when I officially started my job was um, junior year at the beginning or in a sophomore year. Between that, everyone at work didn't know I was a furry. And to one person, because he felt trustworthy, he told everyone at my work. At first, everyone made fun of me. They hated furries, by the way. They hated them. But over time, seeing how I act and stuff, they don't hate furries anymore. They actually say it's cool that I'm in it. And like the one that told everyone actually likes that I'm in it in a way because it helped me with, because he was a good friend of mine. Um, he went through a lot of depression. Um, he's not a furry or anything. He just, he did some stuff in the past he regrets doing. And he accepts me. The whole, like where I work accepts who I am. And um, they don't hate it. I don't show it off either. They don't. They, it, I think I changed their whole perspective of furries. Um, and after that, I kind of just went open with it. I'm happy with it. I think my mom knows. Uh, my dad's side does not know because they're, I don't know how to think. Uh, people think I'm gay a lot. Um, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm not. I think I'm asexual. Um, fanboy, fanboys though. Damn. Love them. Um, uh, don't like them in real life i don't think I, I don't know guys bodies just don't look hot to me but yeah, that's the end of this podcast that's how i became one um i will have more stories about this obviously that's just a quick in i don't have much time but i hope you guys enjoyed this podcast and i'll see you guys in the next podcast scree